Did you see the message I sent? Yes, thank you. At your service. child is a blessing upon his parents and onto the maker.
we're heretics, just like that. Should we surrender or... Uh, don't be foolish. We are the chance, as much as any grand class. They'll close that huge hole in the sky. Ally with the Templars, I'd imagine. I've seen them weaken magic. What about the rebel mages? Rebel mages probably made that damn breach. How about nails? Can Harry at least get me a few score nails by tomorrow? Master Harry said I'm good at nails. He said I have a mind like a hammer. Blessed are the peacekeepers, the champions of the just. Blessed are the righteous, the lights in the shadow. In their blood, the Maker's will is written. Is that what you want from us? Blood. To die so that your will is done? Is death your only blessing? You speak for Andraste, no? What does the Maker's Prophet have to say about all of this? What's his game? How is this a game? Do you see the sky? What about the temple ruins? The bones lying in the dust? Even if you didn't support the Divine's peace, you wouldn't call this right. Who could? So many innocent lives. The faithful murdered where the holiest of holies once stood. If the Maker willed this, what is it if not a game or a cruel joke? Don't ask me. I'm as baffled as you are. Then we can only guess at what he wants. The Chantry teaches that the Maker abandoned us. He demands repentance for our sins. He demands it all. Our lives, our deaths. Justinia gave him everything she had, and he let her die. I'm sorry. Her death has clearly hit you hard. Not just me. All of us. She was the divine. She led the faithful. She was the heart. If the Maker doesn't intervene to save the best of his servants, what good is he? I used to believe I was chosen, just as some say you are. I thought I was fulfilling his purpose for me, working with the Divine, helping people. But now she's dead. It was all for nothing. Serving the Maker meant nothing. Maybe you have another purpose. I could help you find it. No, this is my burden. I regret that I even let you see me like this. It was a moment of weakness. It won't happen again. Come, to work then. We will speak later. So, now that Cassandra's out of earshot, are you holding up all right? I mean, you go from being the most wanted criminal in Thetis to joining the armies of the faithful. 
Most people would have spread that out over more than one day. I'm just glad I'm still standing after all that. I still can't believe you survived Cassandra. You're lucky you were out cold for most of her frothing rage. For days now, we've been staring at the breach, watching demons and maker knows what fall out of it. Bad for morale would be an understatement. I still can't believe anyone was in there and lived. If it was that bad, why did you stay? Cassandra said you were free to go. I like to think I'm as selfish and irresponsible as the next guy, but this... Thousands of people died on that mountain. I was almost one of them. And now there's a hole in the sky. Even I can't walk away and just leave that to sort itself out. I'm still not sure I believe any of this is really happening. If this is all just the Maker winding us up, I hope there's a damn good punchline coming. You might want to consider running at the first opportunity. I've written enough tragedies to recognize where this is going. Heroes are everywhere. I've seen that. But the hole in the sky... That's beyond heroes. We're going to need a miracle. There. There's a shield in your hand. Block with it. If this man were your enemy, you'd be dead. Lieutenant, don't hold back. The recruits must prepare for a real fight, not a practice one. Yes, Commander. We've received a number of recruits. Locals from Haven and some pilgrims. None made quite the entrance you did. I just hope I can help. As do we all. It is enough that you would try. I was recruited to the Inquisition in Kirkwall myself. I was there during the Mage Uprising. I saw firsthand the devastation it caused. Sir. Cassandra sought a solution. When she offered me a position, I left the Templars to join her cause. Now it seems we face something far worse. I must have this mark for a reason. It will work. I'm sure of it. Provided we can secure aid, but I'm confident we can. The Chantry lost control of both Templars and Mages. Now they argue over a new divine while the breach remains. The Inquisition could act when the Chantry cannot. Our followers would be part of that. There's so much we can... Forgive me. I doubt you came here for a lecture. No, but if you have one prepared, I'd love to hear it. <laughs> Another time, perhaps. I, uh... <clears throat> There's still a lot of work ahead. Commander, Sir Ryden has a report on our supply lines. As I was saying. Calling the Herald. 
If you know a way to make them stop, I'm all ears. I don't. These things have a way of taking on their own life. But I'm glad it has not run to your head. I did not join the Order to adjust my faith so easily. But I appreciate what the Inquisition is trying to do, and your role. Though you may find not many Templars do. We're a distrustful lot by nature. I'd like your take on the Templar Order. It's a shadow of what it was. Where once we both protected all people from the dangers of magic, we now posture and grab at power. One day, I hope the Circles are again sanctuaries where mages can practice their craft. How did you come to be a Templar? It seemed the right thing to do. My family are tradesfolk in Denarim. I could have become a cobbler like my father, but this seemed better. It's a chance to uphold the Chantry's laws and help the mages through a troubled time. Not every Templar feels that way. I know. Power can corrupt. It's a delicate balance. One person trying to do something can make a difference. You should keep that in mind, Harold. Do you have any idea what caused the explosion? No, I'm just a recruit. Belief and faith doesn't get you closer to the important meetings. Though, that distance did save my life. You're not going to rejoin the Order? When the temple went up, your forces rescued those few of us still alive. My life is a debt I intend to repay, however I can. I will talk to you later. Walk in the Maker's grace. practice dummies made of sturdier stuff. That would be nice. Like maybe iron. Did I do the right thing? <laughs> what I have set in motion here could destroy everything I have revered my whole life. One day they may write about me as a traitor, a mad woman, a fool, and they may be right. You didn't have any choice. Didn't I? My trainers always said, Cassandra, you are too brash. You must think before you act. I see what must be done, and I do it. I see no point in running around in circles like a dog chasing its tail. But I misjudged you in the beginning, did I not? I thought the answer was before me, clear as day. I cannot afford to be so careless again. It wasn't like you had no reason to suspect me. I was determined to have someone answer for what happened. Anyone. You said you believe you're chosen. Does that mean you believe in the Maker? I can't really say. I suppose it doesn't matter now. I have to believe we were put on this path for a reason, even if you do not. Now it simply remains to see where it leads us.
There must be something here. Sacred, you're back, and in one piece. You said you thought Master Tajan was working on something special. If it helps, I found his notes. <laughs> the old codger was on the edge of a breakthrough here, but he couldn't see it. You want some of these mixed up? You just give the word. For a healer, you don't seem particularly nurturing. I'm not a healer. I'm an alchemist who's forced to play Mother Hen. You want something to burst into flame on contact with the air? Done. Gladly. Patching up wounded soldiers is a waste of my time and talents. But there are a few around who can help. How are your people holding up? There's no shortage of work. That's for damn sure. Farewell. All right.
bring children and helping old men through the winter cold. Good day.